Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Feel free to subscribe at youtube.com forward slash Bill the How To Guy because Bill will show you how to. Hey y'all, Bill the How To Guy here. Wanted to uh, explain some basics using Apple 5, uh, Apple Motion 5 rather. And Motion 5 can be purchased from the Apple App Store and it actually works very well in conjunction with uh, Final Cut Pro 10. So to get started, when you launch Motion, you go into, uh, and I'm just going to pick Motion Project, and I'm going to do Broadcast HD 1080p, or just, it says 1080, and I'm going to have Motion Project selected and hit double-click that. And this is going to open up our, uh, our Motion interface. Now, it may seem confusing at first, and there are templates you can get, but there's some really cool stuff you can do out of the box and not have to be an expert with this. So I wanted to add some special effects to uh, to some Final Cut Pro projects. So to do that, the first thing you would do in Motion, you could go over here to Library along the top, and then there's all these different things you can select from. You can play with all of these, but for this example, I'm going to use Particle Emitters. And you can uh, you can click on it and get a little demo up here in the top left. So it's really just a matter of what you want, but uh, let's see, this one right here is basic smoke. So let's do it, so drag this over to your window over here, your project window, and then it'll appear in there. Now usually what I'll do is just keep it the standard size. Once you've got it in there, you can then export this to your Final Cut Pro 10, so you can actually add the smoke to your Final Cut Pro 10 project. So what you do, you do uh, you do save as. I'll just call it Smoke Motion because I made it in motion. And then I'll do uh, let's see, publish template. So I'm going to call it Smoke Motion category can be whatever but you need to make sure you select publish as final cut generator because what publish as final cut generator is going to do is make it selectable within uh, final cut so I'm just going to call this bill how to guy so I know what it's from so we'll just say publish as final cut generator hit publish now what we can do is minimize motion and open our Final Cut Pro 10. Now when you're in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, first thing, obviously you want to create a new project. So I've got this one called Motion 5 Test. I'm going to drag this video of myself that I filmed in front of a green screen to use as an example. I'm going to go ahead and detach the audio so we don't have to hear that. And... Uh, and we're going to step through what all you can do with this motion effect within Final Cut Pro 10. It's actually very impressive. Okay, so now we got that. We got our green screen. Uh, let's go ahead. This wouldn't have to be a green screen video, but it works well for it. So we'll go to keying. And then we're just going to do keyer. So, okay, while that's doing its thing, the next step in Final Cut Pro where you'll actually see the uh, the effect be generated within Motion 5. You go here to where it says show or hide the generators. It looks like a little number on a square box. You'll see the icon in your Final Cut Pro 10. So after you select that, then as you can see here it says Bill How To Guy because I created, that was the uh, template that I created within Motion 5. I named it Bill How To Guy and then the effect that I used was Smoke Motion so you see it there. So what you can do now, just like any other thing with Final Cut Pro, uh, if you want the smoke to be in the foreground, uh, meaning in front of me, the subject speaking, drag it on the top and see now as you rewind this you'll see smoke in front of my face. See, look at that. Now to take it out, to kick it up a notch, what you can even do, you can select that clip, and then you can go to uh, you 
go to your video settings. Now, actually, I've, I'm on my MacBook Air, so I've got to show that. I'm sorry about this. I got to show the uh, see. Typically, on my desktop, I've got a window that'll show my uh, able to edit video and stuff. So that's let's see where it is. Oh, there it is. Transform. So what we can do is select our smoke effect, and then you can do transform. And you can see here it's now it's draggable, so I can put the smoke wherever. And likewise, I can also expand the size of the effect. So if I blow it up, I can not only move it, but I can expand the size. So if you watch now, you'll see the smoke in front of the subject, and it's in a different place. What you can also do, you can use, and you could mix up multiple effects. This is just one effect that I used in... Uh, in motion for this example is a smoke. But see, now I've got smoke in front and behind, see? So like the subject actually walks through the smoke, as you can see there. And this is just standard uh, chroma keying right here, because you got your, if you put it below, it's going behind the subject. You put it above, it's going to go in front of the subject. And then likewise, you can repeat this motion effect over and over. So like if I want to do this top one, I just do edit, paste, edit, paste, and then you can take your individual uh, instances of that effect and and modify them as, as you wish. So like this one right here, say I wanted to make it appear somewhere else. You just hit transform and then I could move it wherever. So it's a really cool motion for the price that it is. I think it's around 50 bucks on the App Store. I mean, that, that price may change. But just to do what you can do with it, I mean, it's, it's really incredible. And that was just smoke. But look at this, for example. You could have explosions. So, like, you could create a uh, smoke and an explosion in the same uh, in the same effect. There's smoke, and then the explosion. So you can see the possibilities are endless. And anything that you create within uh, within motion like this, you can export using the procedure that I outlined to uh, to make it uh, able to be applied within uh, Final Cut Pro to Final Cut Pro 10 projects. So. Uh, thanks for tuning in. As always, feel free to share this video. And if you have not subscribed yet, uh, please do so. It's youtube.com forward slash Bill the How To Guy. Y'all have a good day.